what is going on everyone we are in my shop today and we've got another product review going on so for those of you that follow the channel you know we have the trailblazer on the channel now and the headlights were in pretty rough shape so i went ahead and did one already so that you can see a real good comparison before i get started on the other so i've done headlight restoration before but this is a little bit different so this kit comes with sandpaper which i've never done before normally it's just a rubbing compound and you put it in the drill and you go nuts with it. So I wanted to make sure that this was going to work and not ruin the headlight before I uh, did the product review. But you can see pretty clear here and uh, pretty foggy here. So we're going to work with this headlight. This headlight I'm ready to put back in. Although I am going to put probably HID bulbs in it. But uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the Trailblazer. And it needs a lot of work. And I'll show you what I mean. There's no engine and no transmission in this thing right now so a long ways to go so what we have is some 500 grit here 800 grit here and this is 3000 so this is really really fine and they only send you one of these and you can see it's padded as well this is your rubbing compound applicator and this is your little disc that you put in your drill and you can see it's padded as well so they don't want you to screw up your headlights that's why this is padded so I'm going to try to explain this process as simple as possible. They give you some really in-depth instructions, but I'm going to try to uh, shorten it up just so that you guys can get a quick idea of how this all works. So we are going to sand this headlight, and you want to be sure that you move around a lot, not putting too much pressure in one area. You don't want to get the plastic hot. So moving around the headlight is really important, and you have to watch out for your edges too. So you can see on this, the edges are still a little blurry, especially like right there. So I'm gonna have to come back with the rubbing compound and go over this again, just to make sure that it's all clear. When you get on edges, they're gonna scuff really easy because it's a hard edge and a lot of pressure gets put right on that edge. So it's really important to keep moving around with this. So I'm gonna get the drill fired up and we're gonna start with our 500 grit paper and we're gonna start sanding on this first headlight. <laughs> Alright, now they always say it's supposed to get worse before it gets better. You can see everything is all hazy now. So I'm just going to take a dry paper towel and wipe the dust off. Okay, so after your 500 grit stage, this is what you should look like. It's really smooth, which of course you can't feel in the video, but you knock all the oxidation off the old lens and you're left with this real hazy finish. So now we're gonna step up to the 800. I'm gonna go over the whole thing again and we'll see what it looks like then. Here we are after our 800 grit stage. We're gonna do the same thing. Swipe all the dust off. So you can see still really hazy, not worried because the polish is going to bring this all out. But we're going to get on the next step, which is 3000 grit. I'm going to try to get some of these deeper scratches back out of this headlight. Here we are after our 3000 grit process. You can see we're starting to get some clarity back to the headlight. So now it's time for this guy. So you can see I've already used it once. It has some compound on it. So I'm going to brush that off. And it comes with this little packet of rubbing compound. And I'll show you how we apply this. All right, so we have our pad on our drill, and here's the idea is you just want to put a few drops on here. So you want to start about like this. And you want to get it kind of evenly spread on the surface you're working on. It's like this, and then start your drill. All 
And what you don't want to happen is for this surface to get dry. So if you think it's getting dry, add a little bit more rubbing compound to your pad. Just like that. And then the same thing again. Get it spread over the surface you're working on. And remember to keep moving because you don't want to get a hot spot in your lens. So I've done the top part of this. We're just going to wipe off the compound with a paper towel. See, we're starting to get clear compared to the bottom. But it's going to take a lot more rubbing compound to get where we need to be. So I'm going to keep rolling on it. All right. <clears throat> so I'm done with the rubbing compound on the top. You can see it's clear. And I haven't done the bottom yet. So I'm hoping that you guys can see the difference between the 3000 grit and polished. So I'm going to finish polishing this bottom real quick. And then we'll look at the whole thing when it's done. So here we go. One finished headlight. Polished top and bottom. Ready to go back in the truck. So this kit's about $30. Um, headlights for this truck aren't actually that expensive. The problem is if you get a non-GM headlight, they'll last about a year and then they'll be all hazed up. So I'm going to try to restore these. A lot of people say that the restoration doesn't last that long, but I think as long as I keep them clean and this truck isn't really going to be out in the sun much, so hopefully I'll be in good shape. So I'm going to go over the other headlight real quick with a polish one more time, and then I'm going to get them back in the truck. So if you guys are looking to restore your headlights, this is the process. The only thing that I would do a little bit different is spend a little bit more time with the 3000 grit because there's still some little fine scratches in here that could be taken out with 3000, but then you have to polish again. So seeing as how this truck isn't going to be running for a while, I'm going to put them in like this and we should be good. So stay tuned guys for the Trailblazer build. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget there's always a link in the description below for high PSI TV merchandise and be sure you check me out on Instagram looking for some more followers on there. I try to post up there daily stuff I'm doing around the shop, stuff I'm doing at RPM. So I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.